Hi everyone. Okay, so at this point you guys are my family. So let me say hi to you guys again. Hi YouTube family. Yes, yes, you guys are stuck with me at this point. Like it or not. All right, so today's video, I'm going to be coloring my wig from a natural color to a blonde color. I will be mixing two colors together. I'm gonna to be mixing uh, T28 and T27. What I'm gonna be using to bleach the hair is a different type of bleach. It's going to be this, this, can you see? I will be putting all of this information below, just in case you can't really see it too well. Don't murder me. All right. So I'll be using these two products to bleach. And these two. And these two products to tone. <sighs> this should be fun. I have to talk about how much I love this dust-free powder. Did you watch my last video? I was ducking and diving. Ooh, this time I can breathe. I really like this product. So as you can see, I'm not focused on measurements. I'm more about the texture. Once it's a toothpaste-like texture to me, it's good to go. Before I start bleaching the hair, I section off two rows of the hair and I add foil paper at the bottom of the hair. And I got this foil paper from the dollar store. It's mm, nothing special. No froze, you didn't have to do me like this. You really didn't have to do me like this. Two of the same hand gloves. Well, the show must go on. Yes, with two of the same hand gloves. And yes, it is very uncomfortable. Anyways, let's get back into what is happening here. So I am painting the hair with my lovely solution. Yes, yes. And uh, as you can see, I'm not just stroking it straight down. I'm also pushing, doing a little push, push up on the hair just because i don't want it to be one straight color i i want different different um shades to be in there so this is how you're supposed to do it so after all my shushing and pushing um I cover this lovely work of art up and uh, leave it to bake and move on to the next row. And I continue doing this all the way through. My shush, 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 shush. Every single row gets a shush, shush, shush. So let me show you how strong my fall paper is and my lovely work of art is. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, that dropped, dropped. And look, everything is still intact. Yeah, yeah, that's my work. Watch and you'll see my sushin, my pushing, my shush, 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 shushin all the way through, all the way through, every row, even the top got to sushin. Mm hmm. Don't forget to swoosh, shush, 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 shush. Okay, so this is me not wanting to waste product because I had a little bit left over. So instead of um, just throwing it away, yeah, I'm, I'm finding places to just put it. Yep, yep, I, I don't like to waste things. I let the bleach uh, soak in the hair for about 45 minutes before taking 
my foil paper off and given it a little wash. Anything to do with bleach, I use purple shampoo to wash the hair, closure, frontal, doesn't matter. I use purple shampoo to wash it with. Now with this uh, wig, what I will be doing is not only washing the wig with purple shampoo, but also soaking the wig with purple shampoo for three days. There she goes after she's been soaked in purple shampoo for three days and left to air dry. After that process, it is time to tone the hair. Now this does come with measurements. So one bottle of toner equals two bottles of developer. So as you can see, after I pour out the toner into the container, I add the developer into the bottle two times I fill it and pour it into my container and mix the solution together. After mixing my solution together, then I just soak it in the hair. Yep, there's, I don't have any special, you know, techniques or anything. I just do row by row and I soak the hair with the developer. Yep. By the way, I did mix both colors of the toner in the same container. And you remember what I said about not liking to waste things? Yep, see? No, I don't like to waste things. Oh my, oh my, oh my. So this is what it looked like after soaking it in purple shampoo and mask for 24 hours. I don't even understand. Oh, oh. I had to comb that bad boy out. Hi, YouTube family. So, this is the uh, this is the finished product of um, coloring my wig. Um, you know, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. See the different colors. It's not too bad. And yes, okay, you can zoom in on the blue. The blue uh, a little shine going on and. You know, I tried, I tried, I tried, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, you know, it's not too bad. It's not too bad with the, the different different colors. It's, you know, I'm gonna have to do a lot of washing to get this blue out. And that's because I, um, this is a stronger, purple shampoo so it, it did its job very fast so I didn't need to soak the hair for as long as I did um, maybe next time I'll soak it for 24 hours instead of three days but uh, overall hey I'm learning I am learning you see this see this this color for sure, um, I will. I like I like this color. Maybe I will. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I'll do with it in the future. But this this is this is my hair. This is this is my work, and um, I'm gonna stick by it. Yep, this is my work. This is my work. This is my work. No, this didn't get um this didn't get curled properly so but that's pretty much that's pretty much what the hair looks like. <laughs>